Since COVID-19 vaccines started becoming available, 3 News has been on top of who's first in line. But when it comes to the general public finally getting theirs, the age group with some of the most cases are technically last in line. Our Ashley Gonzalez spoke with experts on how the vaccines are prioritized and why being last in line to get them means taking on more responsibility. In Oasis County, young people make up the majority of COVID-19 infections. Dr. Chris Bird with the Texas A&M Task Force says these age groups should not be proud to carry this much weight. People between the ages of 20 and 59, 40 to 59 and 20 to 39 are in a dead heat tied for each other. So even though, yes, there are more cases of COVID-19 in younger residents, it doesn't mean we get pushed to the front of the line when it comes down to who gets their vaccine next. That decision is broken down into two elements. The main thing is the reason what happened is that anyone who gets sick who has the highest chance of dying. Second thing is when they get sick who has the highest chance of uh, getting sick and admitted in the hospital or under life support. Dr. Salim Sarani, a local pulmonologist, says the people who fill up ICU beds and are dying because of the virus are typically the elderly. And that's why they're up first in getting their shot after healthcare workers and first responders. Dr. Bird adding, this should not discourage the younger population. Instead, now is the time to remember how far we've come and hang on a little bit longer while we keep on doing what we've been doing for 10 months now. We keep wearing masks and we keep social distancing. It takes less people getting vaccinated to um, keep the transmission rate below one and to you know, have COVID burn out. They say if we work together now, COVID-19 will be behind us soon. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News.